Ryan, we have been looking forward to this all morning. Michael in the Bronx with a great ray of sunshine. Hey, Michael. Hey, George. You know what? I am here in the Bronx. And you know what? I understand what it's like to tackle tough challenges and also to defy the odds. So when I heard about the football team here at Cardinal Hayes High School, you know what I did? I said, hey, we got to do something. I needed to tell this story because they've done more than just win games. They brought this community together. Now, the team is behind this door, so I'm speaking a little bit quietly right now. But it's time to go meet them. And I got this, so I will be quiet no more. Here we go. Cardinal players, can I have your attention? Hey, what's up? something okay you guys you thought you were here that the cameras were here because they were they were shooting something about the news story about you all which you know it's true but it's kind of not true it's not exactly correct because we're live on GMA right now we're live yeah and we have a, we have a special morning planned for all of you here and I'm so glad that I was able to do this with you and that you're here with us because I know all about how you you did not let the circumstances bring you down, all right? You did not let them define you. You took them, you excelled through all of them, and now I want America to know just how amazing you are. So take a look. Cardinal Hayes High School in the Bronx celebrating after becoming the first New York City team in history to win the Catholic League State Championship. A win made all the more remarkable since last season they were one of the worst teams in the league. We were 2 and 8. The kids battled, but you know, we, we made a lot of young, young player mistakes. The morale was uh, very down after the season. With even people referring to us as like one of the worst teams in the program history. They had a lot to prove and a lot stacked against them. For starters, this was their weight room in the offseason outside and caked in rust while their indoor gym was finally being renovated. And their inner city practice field, wedged between the school and the Metro North train line, came up just a little short. When you're running, you get to the 50, the 40, the 30, the fence. I said a, a, quite a few prayers that a, a, a kid stopped in time. Kick off, kick off! It was playable, at least until it got dark, because the field has no lights. To finish practice, the team would walk 10 minutes along the train track to a borrowed field. Having to walk from another field to another field, it was just something that other teams don't do. And their game field, a public park maintained by the city, deemed too unsafe for official play this season. There's just a ton of good-sized divots. There's a, a wave in the field right now. It's obviously not safe. So they would spend their entire season playing games on the opponent's turf. The city telling us it continues to explore ways to maintain the field. The vast majority of our opponents have sprawling campuses and, and uh, you know, have plenty of facilities and we have to make do. And, and that's, you know, it is what it is. We're located in the poorest congressional district in the nation. Most of our students come from the surrounding area. You know, the one thing we're guaranteed is we're going to get knocked down. The question is how we respond. Let's go, come on. Refusing to let their circumstances define them, they dug in and got to work. During the off season, training in the hallways. Higher, higher. We all knew what we wanted. We might not have the most money out of everybody in the league, but I feel like we just have to outwork them. And that's what our coach has really told us a lot. And turning those obstacles into the strengths that defined them, starting with their outdoor rusty weight room. And whenever it rains, like, probably add in incrementally pounds to that weight that just made us stronger. They say that nighttime walk helped the team bond, and the extra time spent traveling to all those away games crammed into these rundown buses. We would enjoy each other's company. We'd be thinking about all the stuff that we need to do to be successful that day, and we'd go on the field and perform. Beelan has room in front of him. He takes it. Pater, touchdown Cardinals. I'm watching, I'm like, these guys are going to be dangerous, man. Cleveland Charlton racing down the sidelines, and it'll only take two plays. It was magical, to say the least. The field goal is no good. 
taking the city championship. And of course, that state title. Kenneth Antoine takes it to the house. Nothing that we didn't have impacted us. You can't be mad at the things you can't control. You're not your circumstance, and you can overcome always if you just have faith and believe. For reminding all of us that we can be greater than our surroundings, Cardinal Hayes High School, you are our ray of sunshine. Absolutely love it. I mean, you guys are a lot better than I ever was in high school. I, I'll be honest with you. And I mean, we have Coach C.J. O'Neill here. Now, Coach, yes, despite, despite everything, you beat the odds. You brought home the championship. You know, you, 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 you made history. So what was it like coaching this great, incredible group of young men? Such a, such a sense of pride to watch a group of young men go from being 2-8 and eight and not giving up, not going in the transfer portal, mm. not, you know, complaining, just going to work. And coming back the next season and just keep going and keep going and build it up. So it's just such a sense of pride. And we also, yeah, you should be very proud of the job that you've done. And we have a JV coach Edmund Wilson here. And coach, what does this team mean to the community? Well, I mean, we, we call ourselves, we have a slogan that we are New York City, right? And, and on our run, Thank you, thank you. On our run to the state championship, the local community, they put signs in the in the, uh, in the the stores and mm -hmm. really supported the kids and, and came out. And we had so much support at our games, uh, the championship game and the state championship game. It was amazing. Something you see, like, in the suburbs, but it happened right here in the Bronx. And we're, we're so proud and thankful for, for having that opportunity to make history and be the first team to win the state championship. Well, you've made New York proud for sure. Now, this, this team, the team's full of talented players, okay? And one of them is this guy right here, wide receiver Reed Jones. Hey, Reed, get the finish up, man. All right. Reed, I know you're just a junior, but I know you, re you received some, some offers from Brown and Columbia for college. Congratulations to you. And, but, but, but what you don't know, and something we can reveal to you today is that you also um, are receiving offers from William and Mary, Georgetown, and Fordham. <laughs> I mean, it's a blessing, you know what I mean? Playing football since I was six. I mean, this is all I ever wanted. Uh, I'd like to thank you for coming here today. Yeah, well, they, I'm glad to be here. And your mom, Michelle, yeah. is next to you. You're emotional, Michelle, because you know all the hard work that he put in for these offers. So how did that make you feel? How proud are you of him? I'm so proud of him. You know, he's an amazing kid on and off the field. He works really hard. He mm. loves his team. He loves the school. He he gets up early in the morning. He gets out of Brooklyn. Gets up here on time. Never, never tires. And I'm just I'm so proud of him. We well, should be. We all are. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, you know what? We're gonna meet another one. We got another one of these great players. This this is Junior Jaden Mann, and this is his mom Nadia. And Jaden, we know you've always dreamed of going to Syracuse. Right, and you've been talking to them, uh, you know, about playing there and playing football there and, and all that stuff. Well, something you did not know, and I can officially tell you, you have an offer from Syracuse. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, I'm really surprised right now. I couldn't have done it without my brothers right here. I love that. Coach O'Neill, right. Coach Ed. Thank, thankful for that. I love my moms, the moms. Those are the, 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 the staple of the team. You and your mom, Nadia. I, I absolutely love it. You know, those are, those are two great surprises. You know, we got a lot of guys. You guys, you guys are going to be great, all right? And you know what? We're GMA, right? We do things a little bit different here. We do, we do things, right? We, we surprise people. And so we, we, we're going to keep the surprises coming. You guys okay with that? You cool with that? All right. One thing, one thing we know, football equipment, it's expensive. It's really expensive. And we know you can use some new stuff um, for, the, for the team. So, guys, help me out. Open, open the box. Open this box right here. Yeah. Yeah. Our friends at Riddell. Now, our friends. Our friends, right? One clap! One clap! Two clap! So our 
friends at Riddell, they, they were so impressed uh, with your story that they wanted, to, they wanted to advance the student athlete protection and performance at Cardinal Hayes. So, you know what? They're going to give the football team program more than $30,000 worth of new equipment, including Axiom helmets, pads, and the tackling system. So, you know, Coach, what do you think about that? going to help you out? Uh, that's going to help a, a lot of ways. The Axiom helmets are the safest thing on the market right now, in, in our opinion. And, uh, you know, we had a donor give us a few of them last year. Good, good deal of them, Mr. Grasso. And, uh, now you guys are helping. Now everybody out. get them. It's a community <laughs> thing. <laughs> Forget about a few. We got you all, right? All right. Well, how about how about one more? Y'all cool with that? Yeah. All right, one, one more. Well, you know you need cleats when you're making those cuts when you're running for 80, 90 yards, right? You need cleats. So open up box number two. Excited football players. We go forward. We don't go back. All right. But you know our friends at Nike, right? They are committed to expanding access to sports for the next generation. So they are so impressed by your story that they are going to support Cardinal Hayes and by giving everyone on the team new cleats. There we go. Those are cool. You know, the, oh, you, hey, anyone, anyone that here ever seen the GMA playbook? Our playbook is thick, right? And that was two great surprises. But in our playbook, we got more, man. We got more. We're not done yet. So, guys, help me out one more time. Turn that board around. From our friends at Bank of America, they were so impressed by what you by what you did here at Cardinal Hay. They're impressed by your story that they're going to give you fifty thousand dollars towards the Cardinal Hayes football program. And on top of that, they're providing team financial literacy through their Better Money Habits program, you know, which is available in English and in Spanish. So congratulations, yeah. Cardinal Hayes! Hear from the president of Cardinal Hayes, Michael Carey. Mr. Carey, how 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 much will this help? This oh, this, the program. This, this will help tremendously, and we actually have just recently started a financial empowerment program at Hayes. This will be major, a major step forward for our students. Yeah, that's fantastic. I always say one thing I wish you learned, I learned in high school, any point in life, is, is financial literacy. I think it's so important. So I'm glad that you started that program, and, and hopefully this will help excel Thank it. You. Thank you. Of course, of course. And, Coach, how is this going to help the team next season? This equipment and everything else. we got to try to repeat. It's as simple as that. So we're going to get back to work. We started our off season. We're going to new weight room we got going upstairs. And, uh, Get to work. Well, I tell you what, I, I was I was listening to you guys out here working out the last few hours. You're on the on the road. You got these guys working hard. A lot of talent. And you know what? You, we're going to take a break, okay? But we got one more thing. <laughs> one more thing up our sleeve. <laughs> it is so much fun out here hanging out with the guys. Makes me want to put my uniform back on, but I can't keep up anymore. And we are at Cardinal Hayes High School. Well, we just sprung three huge surprises on this championship football team, and we love the grit, and we love the determination that they've shown this season. And you know what? We've got one more surprise. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on out, Ray. Where's Ray for our Ray of Sunshine? There we go. So, you guys, my former team, the New York Giants, they're going to give everyone in the football program tickets to a preseason game yeah. next season. Yeah. So you get a chance to go check out the Giants. We love it. A lot of excitement here in the Bronx. Rebecca, back to you to all the excitement in the studio. Oh, yeah, we're so excited. Love to see those faces up close. All right. 
I just have one more question for President Kerry. I know our GM18, they've been driving you a little nuts over the last month trying to set all this up. Was it worth it? More than worth it, and we're grateful. We couldn't be more grateful that you guys came, told the story. These, these young men are outstanding. The coaches are outstanding. The entire school, we, we survive on uh, private funding. Mm -hmm. We are in the poorest. We've had tough times. But Hayes is on the rise because of our alumni, our friends, the young men here, the teachers. We're proud of all of them. So this has been great for us, and we really appreciate you coming up here. Well, I tell you what. We appreciate you allowing us to come up here. Hey, I'm, I'm, we're so proud of all of you and all the hard work that you guys have all put in. Continue to put in that hard work. We'll continue to follow Cardinal Hayes High School. Hopefully, it's a repeat, okay? We'll be looking forward to that. Coach, thank you. Coaches, thank you. Congratulations to our guys there. And I'm going to throw it back to you guys in the studio.